How's it going guys and welcome back to the lair and today we're going to be our, uh, doing our first try at best of three uh, but before we get into it I just want to say if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe it's free to you and helps us out so much feel free to drop me a comment talk about strategy deck ideas misplays I read the comments daily and if you have any friends or family that are into magic please share the channel with them also one last thing if you're going to be a new follower or subscriber on either my twitch or youtube channels just reach out to me the in, in the chat or the comments once you do say something like hey i just subscribed or followed and i can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use in arena to unlock a mystery gift from wizards uh, and if you subscribe and follow i will give you two codes so um like i said the other day we're uh, we're not going to talk about the deck list or the uh the the deck tech or anything like that we're going to hop straight into the games because we're going to be uh, doing best of three but if you're interested in that you can check out yesterday's video which i talk about the list and everything like that so i call this one maze mine giants let's hop into it so traditional standard play Yeah, I've had, I had a couple of uh, a couple of friends and, and a couple of subscribers tell me that I, they think that I'm ready for uh, best of three. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see uh, see see what happens. I think this will be a fun deck. This will be a fun deck to try out. Choose if you will draw first or play first. Um. We want to play first, don't we? And two lander. We have nothing to pull in. I think we're going to mulligan this. Mm. We're going to mulligan this too. Alright. This looks slightly better. So we'll keep this. We'll drop Elspeth. And I guess we drop the Beanstalk since we... Well, we do have the green mana. Mm. This is tricky. So Birth of Miletus gets us another land. We just don't have enough for all of it, so I guess we'll drop the Beanstalk as well. All right, so let's go ahead and lead off with the Crag Crown because we're gonna need the, the Needle Leverage for our White Mana. Well, looks like we're playing aggro right off the bat. In best of three. <laughs> I just don't get it. All right, cool. So, what's the move here? Um, well, we need land, so let's get the Birth of Meltus out there. Let's pull out of planes. I just I can't believe Mono Red <laughs> aggro, top tier in, in best of three. It's so crazy to me. All right. So what's the move here? I'd like to get the Maze Mine Tome out, but I feel like we need to hold up the Bone Crusher. We do have a blocker. I think, shit, this is a tough one. We're gonna gain two life regardless, so let's, let's, let's play out the Maze Mine. All right. Okay. in, keep block. If he wants to waste waste any burn or pump spells, that's fine. Sure, that's a burn spell not going to my face. So, yep, yep. And then before the end of our turn, we will scry. We're looking for a land. Um, do we need another red source though? Ugh. Feels bad, but at this point, I think we're looking for something else. That's a green mana. That'll work. Okay, so let's play out our green. Now, we can Maze Mine Tome and then hold up the Bone Crusher so we can take out the, the robber, I guess. So we'll pass. So we have to take out the robber, unfortunately. Opponent could have another fur. Oh, he just has Ember Cleave already. Sure. OK. 
Okay. Well, that feels bad. I'm looking for action. Mecha? I guess we can throw a body out there, right? Alright, so let's play Ameria. We'll have it in the tap, absolutely. Let's go ahead and play out the Bone Crusher, that way if he uh, targets it with anything, we can get some damage to his face. I mean, I think we're just dead here, honestly. We'll block, but he's still gonna go over the top. He'll kill our Bone Crusher. We don't take it, he doesn't take any damage, and then we take an additional four to the face. Oh, and he also has Infuriate, of course. I think we're already dead here, right? That Scorching Dragon Fire is nice. But like I said, I think we're already dead, unfortunately. That was fun. Uh, so I think on this we're going to we're going to definitely take out the Ugin. We're going to take out the Ox. We're going to take out two Beanstalks. We're going to add probably one more Scorching Dragonfire and the full play set of Storm's Wrath. Okay, so let's take out two Ugin. One ox to beanstalk. We'll add another scorching and we'll add all the storm's wrath. All right, let's try this. See if this makes a difference. Hank Venture. My man. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play first. Um this seems a lot better. We have Scorching Dragonfire for uh, early removal, and we have two Storms Wrath. We'll keep it. Definitely need to look into uh, drawing an additional red source. Okay. so cocky this time my friend are you all right and we pick up a bone crusher which is nice all right i'm feeling a lot better about this we're already at four mana still nothing hmm. oh and a realm cloaked all right my friends i think we're sitting pretty this time we got a whole mess of shit to to mess with his board state come on man Ooh. I'm just going to do this now while he's tapped out, just so we can get some counters on this. Once it get oh, double, double scorching. Oh, man. All right, well, now we just need land, right? Robber the Rich. Okay. We got something for that. Um, let's try the Scorching Dragonfire, see if we can get some pump spells out of his hand. Yeah, of course he has it. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> and that is not what we want to see. Well. Yeah, this that 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 starting that starting land kind of kind of messed us up. Yeah, I'm just dead to to shock. Well, mono red, my friends. What can you do? We tried. 
I don't feel bad about that, though. It is what it is. At the end of the day, it is a game of luck. All right, well, let's hop into another one. See, I, I was all like, oh, if I play best of three, I'm, it's going to be an hour and a half session now. Not if you're playing Mono Red, apparently. But that's all right. I'm not one of those streamers where I edit my losses. All right. JPC guy 89. All right. So we have a t We do have a two lander here and I think this is going to be good enough to get us started because we have the birth of Meltis, we have some early removal spells, mecha. So I think we'll keep this for sure. We'll go ahead and lead off with the Amarius untapped. God, please don't be another mono red deck. We'll have this enter tax. Next turn we can play out our mountain. Rule adventures. Just as bad. Okay. So we'll play this out. Let's play out a birth. Take a planes. He's playing a Kazandu. Does that mean he which one's worse they're both pretty bad um i guess let's play the branch loft so we have all three of our colors and i guess we take out the scavenging because that thing can get out of control pretty quickly We still have the Scorching for the Brush Fire on the next turn. Okay, he's setting up for a Love Struck. We definitely want this additional red. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play the Maze Mine and then we'll hold up the Scorching Dragonfire. Okay, we'll pass. There's the Love Struck. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take out Brush Fire. And we will scry. Ugin, I love you, but I don't need you right now. Okay, let's play out of planes. Do we Elspeth right now? I don't think we Elspeth quite yet. I think let's play out the Bone Crusher. And yeah, because we can just chump block the uh, love struck with our wall, and then we can block the one one with our bone crusher. Yep, that's fine. We will block with our wall. Sure. See if he has any type of removal. No, just another love struck. Okay. We'll scry. We don't need any more land at the moment. Now we're looking for some action. Another Elspeth. Okay. So. Now I think we will be Elspething. Let's take him out. We're going to hold up the Bone Crusher to, to chump block the love struck. And then we'll just get him back with the Elspeth anyways. I'm um, curious to see if this is the uh, the version that's running a Gem Razor for mutation. He can't mutate onto the 1-1, uh, but he can mutate onto the Love Struck. So let's see what happens here. Okay. He goes in with both. We chump block the Love Struck. Oh, he has Ember Cleave, of course. Uh, excuse me. Sure. Ouch. 
We will scry. Realm Cloak is beautiful. Okay. Alright. Um. I mean, I think we... I think we have to... Uh, have to cast off here. Pass. Bring back our Bone Crusher. An additional... There's an edge ball. Okay, he's going to be drawing some cards. Bone Crusher. Okay. My turn. We'll scry. Ugh, we're so close. Um, we're going to be getting a creature back. You know what? We're so close. Let's just do it. One, one counter. And then let's Elspeth... I think we're actually going to Elspeth the Ember Thief here. We'll hold up the blocks. Ugh, give me. Okay, come on in. Man, I would love to draw a land. There it is. Beautiful. So, she's... Got him. <coughs> All right. All right. So, we are facing Gruul Adventures. I think we drop one Ugin, Solemns, Ox, Maze Mine, Three Birth. We want. So, Ugin. Ox, one maze mine, three birth. Okay. And we'll add in the giant killers, another scorching, the storm's wrath, and the two wilts. Let's see how that looks. So we'll add you. We will add you and you. And the three giant killers. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. Lower the curve a bit. All right. So we draw no lands. This is not a keepable hand. Hmm. too. Alright, so we'll keep this. Um, Beanstalk can help us draw more lands, but I feel like we're going to need this is a tough call here. So let's drop an Amarias. And we'll drop. Mm. I guess we drop the realm cloak. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. There's a storm's wrath. That's lovely. So let's go ahead and lead off with the pillar.
go ahead and play out the mountain. Edge wall. Okay. Brush fire is a good card. There's the realm cloak, nice. Alright, so let's play Timber Crown. Let's play Fertile Footsteps. Let's search up the plains since we already have a red. Next turn we can Storm's Wrath if we don't die. Or if we play something big, we can go into a. Uh, Storm's Wrath. Okay. So we'll play that. It's Storm's Wrath now. And then we still have the uh, Realm Cloak for his other bigger threats. Because we know he has them. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> oh, he passes. Don't pass on me yet. So now we have the uh, the realm cloaked out. So we'll we'll pass. We'll see what he what we'll see what he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Passes again. One, two, three, four, five, six. The center tapped. And we'll pass. Scorching Dragon Fire is nice and quick Casey play. Okay. It's gonna play it slow, sure. Cool. Okay. There's another land, beautiful. Alright, so let's just destroy. Start slamming our giants. We'll pass. Giant killer's nice. Um let's go ahead and play out the beanstalk first. I feel like the realm cloak is uh, is the more powerful of the two. Trying to think of what he could have that could kill us. That could be something. That could be something. Fair enough. Alright, so. We have to kill our own beanstalk, which sucks. And then let's scorching dragon fire you. Then I guess we just play play out the giant killer. And we'll hold up the scorching. We still have our realm cloaked. Cool. Kazandu Mammoth. Cool. And Yeah, we don't want that surviving. Okay, I like that. So let's just play, play out out the realm realm float, and then we'll hold up this. We don't want to attack. Oh, I guess we have to. Okay, sure. Sure. Love struck. Don't care about that. Don't care about that either. Grimrock. Alright, so. Let's take out him first. Let's Scorching Dragon fire him. And I 
think we hold him up to tap down creatures. We'll just go in with the giant. Yeah, that's a block. I'm not care. I don't really care too much about that brush fire, my friend. Got him. All right. We won our first best of three. How exciting! That that was a little bit better <laughs> than that first mono red catastrophe. All right. Feels good. Feels good. Let's hop into another one. Red man, 929. My god. Oh god. Here we go. I guess we'll play first. Um, so I'm thinking I need to cut a mecha and add some more land. Because it seems like we have to mulligan every single time. Um, a three lander, four lander here. And I guess we'll just drop the Ugin. Oh, no, no, no. Ugin. Alright. So... I think we play out a Mary attack. Mono red. All right. Do I play the Meltis here? Or do I hold up the Bone Crusher? Let's hold up the Bone Crusher. See what our opponent does if he is just straight red. It would be big red. All right, let's, let's kill this. Now we can play our Meltis. All right, so this looks like big red. So we might possibly have a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and play the the Needle Verge as a mountain, and we'll play out our Melitus here. Yep. Search up the plains. Now we're, uh, we've got plenty of land to, to do our Realm Cloaked. The opponent wants to uh, play something crazy. I don't like that Crawling Barons, though, because we don't have anything that can interact with that. But that's the name of the game. Okay, this definitely looks like Big Red. Sure. Now, th this is interesting because our Realm Cloak can't destroy the crystalline so that's that kind of makes me sad um so let's play out our branch loft so we have all of our colors let's just go ahead and get the uh let's go ahead and get the bone crusher in there needs four to start tapping down with the labyrinth Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely big red. Maze mine out there. I'm attack in here. See if we can get him perfect. I will take that trade, my friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, first strike. Didn't read the card. That's my bad. Alright.
Okay, well, I'll just block you. Question is, do we bone crush the Solemn? I guess we do, right? Whatever. Three, four, five. I'll draw a card. That wall's put in work. Forsaken Monument. Scary. Okay. Elspeth is nice. Elspeth is very nice. Okay. So he's at three, four, five, six, seven. If he plays a land next turn, he can play an Ugin. I mean, we gotta take, we gotta, we gotta get rid of this crystalline giant, man. Unfortunately. Let's see if he's got it. Anything, <laughs> anything else, the cast off would be great. There's another stone coil. Okay, so he doesn't have Ugin, so that's good. That's a big stone coil serpent, though. And palladium, okay. Shit, forgot to scry. Damn it. I guess we'll have this enter as a mountain. Let's cast off here. Fuck. I I messed up. I should have I should have scryed on that last turn. My bad. He's gonna go crawling barons. Okay. Don't need any more land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. Looking for some action. Something. Like that. Uh, let's play out the solemn. Get a little bit of board stall. Yes. Um. I think we just take the planes, right? We'll get on another bone crusher out there. Cool. And then we got the the backup realm cloaks. Uh, if he has a storm's wrath, I mean that's fine. We still have the realm cloaked. He's definitely in Ugin territory now. comes out, he wipes our board. Uh, let's try. So he does minus three. Ugin. Okay. Now at this rate he has to deal with both, and I don't think he can. 
so, I mean, he's got plenty of life. Face, okay. And black. Storms. Scorching dragon fire. Okay. Sure. Oh, he can tap down with the labyrinth. Fuck. Okay, scry. So we're looking for our own Ujin. Or Elspeth. Don't need any more land at the moment. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, that labyrinth. Oh. oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Hmm? Okay, we'll just keep him chopped down. He's gonna tap him down with the labyrinth, that's fine. We still have our backup beanstalk giant. Cool. Stone coil, okay. That is not the card I wanted to see. However, we can kill his Ugin, which is nice. Let's go ahead and play this as a mountain, I guess. Can we do both? If I pay three, I think we can. So let's furl footsteps. Let's search up a forest, I guess. Play the beanstalk. Now he has to worry about tapping down both. Um, yeah, let's just go face. Make him tap it down, perfect. Sure. He has to deal with both these, though. I don't know if Mono Red can do that. He has to get another Ugin off the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's hit the face. If I attack with both, and he has plenty of land, I think we got the play defensively here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. You 
keep looking at that. What do you got, an Ugin? Another Ugin will not help you here. Oh, Shatter Skull. That's not enough. And he's tapped out now. Come on in, boy. So next turn, we get a free hit with our 7-7, seven, seven at least. I don't want to tap out both, because then he can just remove it. So, it's fine. Scorching Dragonfire will be nice. We'll just go in with him, free 7 damage. Opponent does have kind of life, though, so it doesn't really matter. And the turn. Storm's Wrath. Solid. Sure. Sure. Hmm. So, what can we do here? Let's play our own Solemn. I guess we search up a planes. I think what we'll do. I don't want him drawing another card. So let's. Let's do three to him. Yep. Let's Scorching Dragon Fire. Exile that card. Now if I attack him with both, he removes the Beanstalk. Could also have his own scorching. I think we have to wait, unfortunately. Fuck. Sad. It's like the one time where Ugin is not really that good. Barons. Okay, that's a big crawling barons, but fortunately for us, he doesn't have. Oh! Well, I'll just chump block you, and we'll just block you. Seems good. Guess the opponent's getting a little impatient. It's fine with me. I will definitely draw a card. That's amazing. I think we Elspeth the Forsaken, getting a lot of value off that, and we can bring back maybe our Solemn, cool, but it's already tapped out, so let's just go ahead and play out another Beanstalk and smack the face. Okay, now he's got to deal with all these creatures, and if he kills one we'll just bring it back, he also has to deal with our Ugin. Okay, so that Forsaken Monument is a waste. Cool. Yeah, that's a 16-16. It's not gonna happen, my friend. We will just block... Yes. Guess let's block with you, huh? Got him. Got him! So this is a tough one. I mean, we got to put in the 
the wilts, right? Beanstalk was amazing. Realm Cloak was amazing. Ujin was perfect. Um, the Ox? I don't think we need the Ox. So we'll put in one more wilt. And I guess... Take out one crystalline and put in another wilt. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna stick with that. So finally, we have a decent starting hand. We have a Beanstalk for a little bit of ramp. We have our Scorching Dragonfire and a Realm Cloak. I think we'll keep this. Now we did not see Yadaro last time, so it doesn't mean he didn't have it. Oh, we just didn't draw into it. Okay. Well, he is not a giant, so we do not care. Alright. So, let's go ahead and fertile footsteps. Got white, got green. Got red. I mean, we got it all, really. Let's search up another red, I guess, since we have so many reds. Okay. Play out you. We will scorching you. Okay. And that's it. Pass the turn. One, two, three. Five, six. Yeah, last turn. There's the Forsaken. Okay. Sure. Last turn, that uh, Labyrinth was really saving him. I mean, obviously the Ujin as well, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um... Play out him as a planes, and I think. Oh, wait, I can't play it. One, three, four, five, six. I can't. Ugh, disgusting. No worries. Three, six. So next turn we realm cloak, crystalline. Sure. Beautiful. And Palladium, sure. Sure. That fucking Forsaken Monument, man. Death Touch. Amazing. Ah, oh, okay. Um... Let's go ahead and just cast off now, so we can get at least get rid of him. And then next turn we can beanstalk, so we can chump block him. He's got three, four, five, six. Let me just place another one. Sure. The Ugin is not really too good in this matchup, unfortunately. 
sure. Let's get out the beanstalk. Let's get the chump block out there. It's a pretty sick combo, uh, Shatter Skull with Forsaken Monument to amplify your, your land so you can do massive amounts of damage to Shatter Skull. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really see us coming back from this one. Uh, let's go ahead and play out this. Play out the Solemn. I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll just pass. He's just digging for that Ugin. It's also running Yadaro too, so it's like, oh. There he is. It's like game. Oh, and another crystal. Man, that Forsaken. That Forsaken, man. Damn, I think we're dead. Eight. 10, 11, 12, 13. Block you. He has Menace now, too, so that puts him over the top. Alright, we're just dead. Block you. Yeah, I mean... Either way, we're not doing anything. That's uh, that's a tough one. Wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, he gave up? Why? Whew. Well, all right, my friends, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, that was a very interesting first bout in our best of three. Uh, I plan on doing more uh, in the next coming weeks. We'll may do like one or two days a week. We'll do best of three. And then the other days we'll do best of one like normal. I'm also going to be uh, doing some Kaladesh uh, drafting as well, so very excited for that. Um, my next episode, I'm going to be opening up a bunch, bunch of packs of the Kaladesh Remastered, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to end it there, and if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Feel free to drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. If you have any friends or family that are into magic, please uh, share the channel with them. And uh, don't forget, if you're going to be a new follower or subscriber to either my Twitch or YouTube pages, once you do, just reach out to me in the uh, chat or the comment, say something like, hey, I just subscribed or followed, and I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. So very excited to be able to offer that. Um, and other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.